<clears throat> there once was a little girl that grew up thinking that she just wasn't good enough. This little girl had her best friend as her sister, and they did everything together. One late night, her sister knocked on her door and said, Elsa, do you want to build a snowman? Elsa and her then snuck out of their room to go build a snowman. You see, Elsa had a special power. She had the ability to create ice out of thin air. So this one particular night, her and her sister, we'll call her Anna, went to go build a snowman, ice caves, and snow. They had a blast. But unfortunately, this one night, Anna was jumping into a pile of snow and Elsa accidentally struck her. This left Anna with a massive headache and it actually left a streak of silver in her hair for the rest of her life. Her parents came barging in, instantly mad at her and instantly yelling at her. They were mad at what Elsa had done to her sister. You see, Elsa grew up like this, constantly being ridiculed by her parents and thinking that she just was not good enough or as good as her sister. You might know this story as the movie of Frozen. We are all very familiar with it. My question to you today is... Have you ever felt like Elsa before? Have you ever felt like there were expectations that you just weren't going to meet? Have you ever felt like someone was always going to be better than you and that you just weren't good enough? Well, you're not alone. At some point or another, we have all felt this comparison issue. We all feel like there's someone better than us and that we're just not going to live up to certain expectations that people have for us. I have personally struggled with this all my life, as I can imagine just about every girl sitting in here. Throughout my life, there was always someone that had a cooler bike than me. There was always someone with better grades than me. There was always someone better at basketball than me. It just never ended. And this led me to really be hurt and struggle with comparison to others. It is difficult to be a girl in 2019. But why? Why do we do this? What is telling us who we need to be? Well, I can tell you right now, it is social media. Social media really is the silent killer. Social media leads us to need the followers, the comments, the likes, and to constantly be thinking, be thought of, sorry. As we look on social media, we only see the good side of people. We see the brand new Range Rover that they have. We see their amazing trip to Hawaii. But the truth is, we don't know what they're going through. We don't know exactly how their life is. So why are we thinking that they're better than us just by a couple of posts or pictures? We need to stop this madness, though, of comparing ourselves to others. It is truly depriving us of joy. It's depriving us of living our life to our full potential and being happy. There's absolutely no value in it, no reasoning, and no meaning for this. It's really only distractions, and there is no end to it. Someone is always going to be better than us, and someone's always going to be worse than us. That's just how life is. That's how we are as humans. And as we know, as we see that new Range Rover, that trip to Hawaii, things don't buy us true happiness. True happiness only lies within ourselves. Comparison leads to resentment, depression, and you are never going to be satisfied. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how we can improve this. Number one, know who you are, a child of God. God created us all as his sons and daughters. We were meant to have imperfections. We all have different imperfections, but we are to embrace those imperfections and make them into strengths for us. Second, Focus on others instead of yourself for once. As we're serving others and not being so focused on what we're doing or what we're posting, we can help others in need that we might not know about. Be confident in who you are. Accept who you are. Know that God created you uniquely and that you're not going to change. So might as well embrace who you are, right? If it helps, do a social media fast. Go off of social media for 20 days and see how it affects you. I can guarantee that you'll feel just a little bit better about who you are. Next is to show gratitude for the things that God has given you. 
you'll see the blessings in your life and you'll realize that not everyone has blessings just like you. Next is to realize that you're not perfect. And again, that God created you uniquely. So compare yourself with who you were in the past and try to compare yourself with who you're going to be in the future. Be who you are and embrace it. I'm next going to show you a story. It's called the story of the crow. And then I show the video. So to end this, as we know, uh, as we know, Elsa grew up to save Arendelle, the city that she grew up in with her sister. She ended up embracing these icicle powers that she had and she truly let it go. This is my challenge to all of you today, to let it go. Be who you are and love who you are and I guarantee that you are going to be happy and live without this comparison issue that we all have today. Let it go and be who you are. Thank you.